deal. I'm Jaws on the beat, I got flow that kills. Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill. What's up guys, it's Unders, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make sound go from the left to the right hand side with a panning automation in Logic Pro, just like this. Say my name out loud if, it's whisper if you want to get your music onto the likes of Spotify, Apple Music, even TikTok, keep 100% of your earnings and get paid monthly if you choose, get into those stores up to 20 times faster than some other distributors and do it all at a ridiculously low yearly price. Check out the channel sponsor, DistroKid. Okay, so to do this in Logic, it's actually very simple. You just need to know where to find a couple of different tools. Now in this instance, I've got the vocal that moves to the left and right just here. So if I highlight that vocal and press U, it's gonna draw a bar around it and let's just solo it to have a listen. Really, really simple, right? Now in this instance, I've created a piece of audio that's reversed and has already got that effect baked in. I'm gonna show you how I made that. So to do this kind of effect, let's just grab a bit of sound that we wanna go from the left and the right. We'll make a new channel here and I will copy the vocal down here. I wanna solo this bit here. Fade of layer, the fire is now gone. Let's make that last word gone fly to the left and right. So let's just zoom in so we can see what we've got here. We're going to take this last little phrase here. Fire is now gone. Fire is so we've got a really, really short section that we're going to work with. Okay. So what we need to do now is press A. That's going to bring up our automation lane. And over here on the left hand side, we've got read and we've got volume. Now we can just draw this automation in relatively simply. We're going to click where it says volume. We need to go down to main, pan, and absolute. Once we've selected those, it now says read and pan over here. To quick draw automation in, I'll just use the pen tool. You go up here, you've usually got two tools highlighted. The second one will often be marquee. I tend to just put it on pencil. If we now hold command, it will switch to the pencil tool and we can simply draw ourselves in two points. Now we want this to return back to zero. So we're gonna try and get two points that are back on zero or as close as. And then to move left and right, we just need to go from the extremes like so. That is all we need to do. So we're gonna layer up that stereo version of the word gone, just so it sits over the original like so. And that guys is how you can throw sounds from the left to the right and automate it on any piece of audio or any piece of sound in your track. Hope that was helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.